So today we will know about our three daddies. The first daddy is Gopi Daddy. Daddy Gulzar and Hardevi Daddy. Actually we already did Hardevi Daddy but that was different daddy. This is another daddy, Hardevi Daddy. So there are two daddies of, whose name is Hardevi. So first will be Gopi Daddy. So from Didi or Gopi Daddy. Gopi Daddy with her Lokik husband, they both surrendered in 1937 when Yagya began. And I know her because she is also my auntie. She is my mother's oldest sister. And uh, because when Omanli began, all families start going, all the families. So my grandfather will also take all children and daughters and then when she you know decided to leave or take renunciation and the, she was newly married and that time was many were leaving homes so my grandfather says no i'm not going to take my children so he kind of withdrew from there and uh, but she is actually in lokik my mother's older sister and uh, you know, I know her until end because she was in uh, Pathan Kot near Jammu and uh, was very, very good in serving because Dadi generally have this bhavana. They're not, like she was not educated, maybe a little bit, but a lot of love for Yagya. And all the service they did at that time was because of their bhavana and their faith in Baba and their purity. No, souls will be attracted to listen to knowledge. And of course, she cooked very good. So anyone went, she will give nice from a bush and good toli. And uh, so this is how Gopi Dadi's life is. So another Dadi. Dadi Gosar, everyone knows Dadi Gosar, <laughs> but still we will listen from Didi. Mm. Yeah, I think we all know Dadi Gulza. <laughs> and uh, two ways. One is we know a big Bab Dada through Dadi Gulza. But this is only Dadi Gulza, not a big Bab Dada in her chariot. And it's so different because her personality, you know, she her language was simple. Her nature was very simple, very serene, very easy. Anyone can approach her, very friendly. And then, of course, when Avek Babdada came in her, it was completely different personality. And we knew immediately when Baba came, the way her face will change, that this is not Dadi Gulzar, it's Avek Babdada. Her innocent, uh, innocent nature, her easy nature, not only that, but she will always, always appreciate everyone, look at everyone's quality, encourage everyone, you know. And uh, But she followed Avyag Bhavdada in a way that when even Avyag Bhavdada was not in her body chariot, but when you see her take Drishti, you could still feel Baba. So one time we told her, that Dadi, why we come here and we want to meet you, but we feel Baba is in you. She said, because you all come with the hope to meet Baba, I have to remember, I have to invoke him. So he, she was also kind of in remembrance of Baba, so that any soul comes to take Drishti, even when Baba Dada is not there, they could feel the presence of Baba. And I thought that was something very great. Now, whenever we say, Dadi, you're sitting here, we came to say hello to you. But we felt Baba. She said, I have to do that, no? So her remembrance, her relationship, and I think she was with Baba day and night. And that is why Baba was also able to use her chariot. So she is our great Dadi Kulsar Om Shri. 
Now our third daddy is Hardevi daddy. As I said, this is another daddy whose name is Hardevi daddy. So one Hardevi daddy we talked about was next to Boli daddy in kitchen, but this daddy was in Pune, and uh, there were two sisters and mother. They used to run the center, but very very lovely soul, a very surrender mother and both sisters. And she will read morely, give classes. Other sister used to give a lot of talks in public. So many of them really they serve the yagya in a very incognito way. But she was also one who sustained all of us with a lot of love.